From Cebu City, we took the ferry to Bohol. It was crazy busy since we traveled just a week before Christmas and everyone in the Philippines was heading back home. Bohol is best known for the chocolate hills. These are limestone rock formations, brown in color and dotted throughout the entire island. Besides that, Bohol is home to the indigenous Tarsier, world's smallest primate. A very popular place to stay for tourists is Panglao, and this is a separate little island just southwest of Bohol. It is almost like you walk into a shopping mall because the place is overtaken by McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts and 7-Eleven. On the first day, we just relaxed. And God offered uh, sunglasses beach. eight times <laughs> and a massage. I fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> Got eight pairs now. And, uh, yeah, we're staying here. <laughs> uh, pity that I didn't bring my uh, GoPro with me, but you got like uh, weeds there on that side. Um, and after that, you got coral, but it looks really like a, like a plain field of grass, and, but then on the water. So that's pretty nice. Well, but so clear. It's beautiful. And this is this is not even the one of, oh there they are. I don't know if you can see them on camera. The, uh, what I was trying to say this is not even one of the most beautiful beaches in the not even competing one of the most beautiful beaches in the Philippines so I'm looking forward okay so we ordered a soup a sisig and some fries uh, the soup is huge <laughs> at least you have to thank you stir it up stir it yeah right like yeah stir it up This is uh, a classic Filipino dish. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. It's huge. All the must-see spots in Bohol are further up north. We rented a motorcycle and carved out a little route to go and see the chocolate hills. It is a very long drive up, about three hours, but there's lots to see on the way. You can stop at the Blood Pack Shrine, Baklayon Church, the Tarsier Conservation Center and the man-made forest. First up was the Blood Pack Shrine. The Blood Compact Monument is an artwork that was made to honor the first international treaty between the Philippines and Spain. Next up, Baclayon Church. This church was founded in 1596 and it's the oldest Christian settlement in Bohol. So we got the uh, sea and the Baclayon Pier over there. And here it's the Baclayon Church. Looks very old. It is possible to visit inside, but when we arrived, they were on their lunch break. So we decided not to wait and just get on with our journey. The church is very beautiful from the outside as well. And if you cross the road, there's a beautiful pier you can walk on. Make sure to visit one of the many bakeries you cross on your way because they make super tasteful bread and pastries. The purple you see here is from the ube or ubi. It's a purple yam and it's very common in Philippine cuisine. 
On the way to the Tarsier Sanctuary, you cross the man-made forest. And this forest is mainly made up of white and red mahogany trees. And it is part of a reforestation project that started over 50 years ago. It's also a very Instagrammable spot, hence its popularity. You have to drive really slowly because there are so many people taking pictures in the center of the road. Says everywhere to uh, slow down, man-made forest, picture-taking area, so people uh, are allowed to stand here on the road and take a picture. How dangerous it is! <laughs> but pe no, but pe people drive slowly past by here. Cars. <laughs> yeah, people drive slowly. There are cars, but people drive slowly. Be cautious. It's very nice. The, the the trees are very high. I don't know what kind of a tree this is, it's beautiful. It's kind of hard to take a picture with only yourself on it. Because yeah. <laughs> no chance. No, it's really hard. No chance. <laughs> Not too far away from the man-made forest is the Tarsier conservation area and it was not as we expected. There is another Tarsier conservation project, uh, so make sure you visit this one instead of the one we visited. I will state it below, it's called the Philippine Tarsier Sanctuary and it's on the other side of the island. It's called a conservation or what's it called? The Tarsier Conservation Sanctuary stuff. But sanctuary until now hasn't really been, uh, yeah, we want to conservate and look the amount of buses and tourist uh, tours are coming to see four Tarsiers who, when they got too much stress, they, they, kill they, they kill themselves. That's what the guy told us. That's what a guy told us. When the earthquake came, uh, came out of the eight, Tarsiers four killed themselves. And this is the, the tourist. The, 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 this is the amount of people will come. And this is like in a stream. People come and go. Uh, yeah, we came here after one and a half hour, but if we, uh, our scooter ride. But if we would know this, I don't think we would have come. It looks a little bit like an animal to race yeah. We still went inside and as you can see, the line was just so, so long. There were so many people and it really felt like we were doing something really wrong. Little guinea pigs, sorry. And then with a tail. So, overall rating of the Bohol Tertiary Tertiary Conservation I Area. I have to say, they're super cute. They're very cute. They're very cute, but it's it's just. Uh, they're like two things, like yeah, yeah, it's like palm like, of your hands. Yeah. Uh, and they're yeah, and they're like clamped around the branches of a tree underneath a, a leaf because of the rain. So it's very cute. And they got like a mouse tail. Yeah, they are very cute. They but are it's very too cute. much. Um, it's too much. It's just like Disneyland, 
and you're going through their space and there are kids like screaming at them there was this kid thing. there was this kid was just screaming two times at the animal yeah and he was very naughty he, very naughty he, that was a very bad kid i think if you really care about the animals then you shouldn't really let that many people no. visit and see them from up close because you can get really close actually and you do have people who are observing if everything is going okay accordingly yeah but it's just it's it's super super busy and we all know that it's not that's not what animals like animals don't like that many people around them so you know that what what we were doing was just not right for the animals At last we visited the Chocolate Hills. It's still almost an hour drive from the Tarsier conservation area up to the Chocolate Hills. Beautiful rice paddies along the way, churches, bakeries, beautiful nature. When you come to the Chocolate Hills, you can park your bike, buy a ticket and they will take you up with a van uh, to the cone-shaped hills that are actually made out of grass-covered limestone. The grass turns brown when it's exposed to a lot of sun and dryness and that's why it got the name Chocolate Hills. There are at least 1,260 of these hills throughout the island of Bohol. Going up the ultra small stairs. So she said that there are 230 steps. Could be half of them. A bit cloudy, but you can see it very good. See them on that side. The grassy hills were once coral reefs that erupted from the sea in a massive geologic shift. Wind and water put on the finishing touches over hundreds and thousands of years. Don't ask me exactly how this worked, but just imagine that it took thousands of years to form these hills and they're still visible for us today. It was such a cool sight to see and definitely worth the drive up. And back down. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.